Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you five perfumes from my collection that are right now my current favorites. Now that can change in a week or two because I don't know about you guys, but when I fall in love with a fragrance, I'm like, this is it. It doesn't get any better than this. And then I'll purchase another fragrance and then I'm on to the newest thing. So, but right now, these are the five that I really, really like that I keep grabbing and I'm very attracted to because the scent and the performance on these are amazing. But before I show you these perfumes, I'm gonna share with you a little secret or a little tip to help maybe your perfumes stay on you longer. I don't know if you're like me, I have really dry skin. So lately I've been using the CeraVe moisturizing cream. It's unscented and I put that on my chest area, my shoulders and my arms and I've noticed that my fragrance is starting to last a bit longer. And I really like that. And this is moisturizer that continues on throughout the day. It lasts a long time. It has the hyaluronic acid in there, so it's really great. And I have really dry skin. So here's a little tip. I don't know if you guys have problems with fragrances lasting long on you, but maybe this will help because I noticed that it is working for me. All right, let's go into the first one. And oh, I got this one, I think, two or three weeks ago, and that one is the Prada Candy Night Eau de Parfum by Prada. Oh my gosh, is this amazing. Let me just take this little protective cap thing off. I'm wearing it right now, but I'm gonna spray some more on. I just love the way this smells. If you own the original Prada, you can definitely get this one. They are different. The original to me, in my opinion, is a lot softer. This one is gonna be a little more bold, kind of in your face type of fragrance. It's very, very intoxicating. The notes in here are gorgeous. The first thing that you're gonna notice when you spray this is there's neroli in here. There's also some iris and some bitter orange. You're gonna pick up on that bitter orange. It really adds character to this fragrance. Then in the heart of this, you've got this gorgeous tonka bean and then obviously this luscious vanilla, but it's the base where it really shines. You've got some chocolate and patchouli. Now this chocolate is not your typical sweet, creamy type of chocolate. This is more on the drier side, if that makes sense, almost like a cocoa powder type of chocolate. And it really, really performs in this. That dry down is just absolutely stunning, especially if you love chocolate. So good. Now performance on this one, which was really surprising to me, this lasts a very long time on my skin, easily six plus hours really long time on the clothes. It projects extremely well. It's past an arm's length. So people are gonna really notice this fragrance when you're walking by. It's got great sillage. It again is very intoxicating and I guarantee you people are gonna wanna know what you're wearing. All right, excuse me for doing this. I have my camera lights on. It's 90 degrees outside and I don't have the air conditioner on right now because if I have my air conditioner on, you're gonna hear that noise. And so I'm just gonna have to suffer through it. So if you guys see me doing this, I don't have a runny nose, I'm just, it's hot in here. All right, moving on to the next fragrance is Fever on the Parfum by Jimmy Choo. Another amazing fragrance from Jimmy Choo. Actually, this is my favorite from the line. I do like Illicit as well, but this one is just really intoxicating. It just smells incredible. It starts with this juicy plum and it is very sweet. It's very ripe. There's also some lychee and grapefruit. Now lychee is that sweet tropical fruit. And then you've got grapefruit and it's not really a bitter grapefruit. This is more on a really ripe, juicy kind of grapefruit. So it's got some sweetness to it in there. In the heart of this, you've got heliotrope vanilla orchid and jasmine. And that jasmine really shines in this. It's beautiful. And then in the base, this is where it gets really nice. It has the, some woodiness to it, but it's got that creamy sandalwood, benzoin, and tonka bean. So overall, really nice fragrance. I love the performance on this one as well. It's definitely past an arm's length when you first spray this. The longevity on this one is easily six hours on my skin. And it does really stick to your clothing as well. You're gonna notice it the next day. 
Siage gorgeous, you walk by someone, they're gonna get a trail like six feet behind you because this is just really intoxicating. Next, I have Kenzo Amor by Kenzo Eau de Parfum. This is an amazing fragrance and I, I really like this. I've had another Kenzo fragrance that I was not really fond of, which was the Le Elephant, I think it was. It was really spicy and heavy and I didn't like that. So I was a little bit nervous getting another Kenzo fragrance, but I absolutely adore this one. It smells incredible. I love the way the bottle looks. But let's talk about this. When you first spray this, you're gonna get tea and then you're gonna get like rice, if that makes sense, like a steamed rice almost. And then in the heart of this, there's frangipani and heliotrope. And then in the base, this really warms up to your skin, becomes really nice. You've got this vanilla in there, some woody notes, as well as incense. So it is very intoxicating. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say this fragrance is one of those fragrances that's going to be bold in your face this one is a little bit more subtle it's within an arm's length when you spray it but it does last a long time several hours on my skin on the close and the sillage is gorgeous people have to be a little closer to you to pick up on this scent so it is a little more shy as far as really being bold and standing out there it is going to be a little bit closer to your skin but an all around gorgeous fragrance. I absolutely love this, highly recommend it. It is very soft, it's very, very feminine, an all around great fragrance. All right, next, this one is pretty new to my collection. This is Roses Vanille Eau de Parfum by Mancera. This is a great fragrance. It reminds me a lot of Intense Cafe by Montal, very, very similar. This one does not have the coffee note listed, but it does smell like there is some coffee in here. It is very intoxicating when you first spray this. In the opening of this, you're gonna get lemon of Calbria, which is gorgeous. It's got a little bit of that zestiness to it. Doesn't last long, it goes right away into the heart where there's that Turkish delight with rose. Now, Turkish delight is a, a, a dessert that's very sweet and intoxicating. And with that rose, it's just unbelievably delicious. And then in the base, you've got this gorgeous cedar wood, some incense, vanilla, and white musk. And that white musk does make this very creamy. It is a great fragrance. The House of Mancera makes some amazing fragrances that do last a long time. I've done a lot of research on these as far as longevity and performance and a lot of their fragrances perform extraordinarily well this one is definitely past an arm's length when you spray it as far as longevity it is eight hours on my skin longer on the clothes it, it really really does perform wonderfully and then the sillage is amazing when you walk by people it's just so intoxicating that it is one of those fragrances that will have people stopping you and asking you what you are wearing. So overall, great, great fragrance from the House of Mancera. And then last but not least, and I have to do this again, sorry, is Aura by Moogler. This is a very interesting fragrance and that is why I think I'm drawn to it. It is very different and typically I'm not one that gravitates towards fragrances with a lot of green notes and this is loaded with green notes. It's got some floral notes in there. It also does smell like money to me. I know that sounds so weird but it does and at the same time it smells like candy. It's just it's different. Trust me it's very different but when you first spray this in the opening you're getting some rhubarb leaves and then in the heart of this there's that green note as well as some orange blossom. And then in the base is where it becomes really interesting. You've got that bourbon vanilla, which is oh, so intoxicating. Some woody notes as well as tiger liana, which is a note that gives this kind of an incense kind of feel to it. So very interesting. It does perform very well when you spray this. It's about an arm's length as far as projection, longevity on my skin is about four to six hours. It's longer on my daughter. It lasts all day on my daughter. Now my daughter is 17, she's younger, so her skin is more moisturized than mine. So obviously it's gonna last a lot longer on certain people than other people. And I remember when I was younger, 
Fragrances used to last forever on me and now that I'm in my mid 50s, my skin's drier. Like I said, it's a lot harder for fragrances to last. So I'm just started using the CeraVe. So I'm hoping I can get some more performance out of a lot of my fragrances. But then as far as the Siage, it is very different. It's very romantic. It is very unique is a good way to explain it. But all around great fragrance. All of these are fantastic. I highly recommend them. But out of these five, my absolute favorite favorite would have to be the Prada Candy Night. And if you want to blind buy, this is a safe blind buy, especially if you like chocolate. This is definitely one to try out. It is different enough from the original Prada candy that you can definitely go for this one. And as in, in my opinion, I've sampled all of them. This one I think is the best out of the Prada candy line. So anyway, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I certainly appreciate it. Stay beautiful inside and out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know the next time that I upload. See you soon.